Now, the shortage of vaccine makes it so hard to book an appointment. So some people thought it must have been a mistake when thousands of even same day appointments all of a sudden became available at Dodger Stadium today. NBC4's Hedy Chang has more on today's confusion and frustration at the city's largest super site. The usual long lines at the Dodger Stadium vaccination site. How many appointments do we have today? None to speak of Tuesday evening. My friend called me tonight and said, quick, get down to Dodger Stadium. They're going to give giving out inoculations. Okay, go ahead. That's why many folks raced down here, pleasantly surprised to breeze right through. I saw on the news that there was a mistake in vaccination appointments. Not so much a mistake, more like a mix-up in messaging. Mayor Garcetti's office says L.A. City administered nearly 6,000 doses at Dodger Stadium today. But thousands of appointments were still available at 5 this evening. Why? LA County run sites are only administering second doses right now. County officials believe many people thought that was also the case at Dodger Stadium. Not so because it's run by the city, not the county. It is important that people read because if they book an appointment at a site that's only processing second vaccination appointments, their appointment's going to be canceled. It's worth a reminder so there's no more confusion. County run sites include the Pomona Fairplex, the Forum, Cal State Northridge, Six Flags Magic Mountain, and the LA County of Education building in Downey. Not Dodger Stadium, where Mayor Garcetti wants to stress there is no issue delivering doses to eligible people and that no doses went to waste tonight. They've been assigned for future appointments. I'm extremely excited. It feels like just a step. Silly to say this, but a step in the right direction of just getting over this thing. CVS Pharmacy is also beginning to vaccinate this week, pushing back a day to Friday to make sure there's enough availability. Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.